Hello and welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL, and I've been making Kumi loops for a number of years now. And recently I've been asked if I could put together a video to kind of explain how it's done so that way you guys can do it as well. So um, that's what we're here to do today. So in order to make our clip, we need a few things. First, we obviously, we need the string to make our bracelet. That's just like normal. The length of the string though, needs to be long enough that you're going up and back down. So at least a couple meters in length, um, as opposed to if you had like tails on both ends, right? Next, you'll need a Kumi disc. This is one, they're not terribly expensive. And um, I definitely recommend if you're going to do kumis, this is the way to do it. I've seen people try to put little notches in a piece of cardboard, but the cardboard is sort of flimsy and it won't hold the tension of the strings and the ends up being really sloppy looking. And this will do for a number of different uh, amounts of string, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Next, you're gonna need a bobbin. Um, you can use this, um, it'll work, but you'll also need to have a clip with it, right? This is, um, you know, if you don't have this, you could just use like a, maybe a piece of cardboard or, um, maybe an old, you know, credit card, something like that, but something to wind the string around and be able to clip it in place. If you're so fortunate enough, you can find one of these. This is, um... I think it's like a silicone or a, like a soft plastic. It's actually made for making kumis. Um, it, you wrap the string around and then it closes across like this to hold it in place. So um, they're kind of hard to find. I've tried looking for them on Amazon and, and various other websites and um, I don't necessarily know where to direct you to find them, but if you can, this is probably the best way. So, okay, next we need to load up the string. So this is the center of my string. It goes down quite a ways. Um, what we wanna do is we wanna kinda get a little bit off center. So that way this area, this will be longer now, is the area where the kumi is. So we would take that, and if we were using the kumi um, bobbin, we would put that here and wind the string around in order to, um, you know, secure it. And then after it's all wound up, you just close this down and it'll hold it in place. Um, assuming that you don't have one of those, you would do it this way. You would take and uh, the shorter side here and you would put that onto your bobbin and then just wind this around. And then you want to be able to just use a clip to hold that from coming undone. And there you have it. That's the, uh, the your next step. So that's what you're going to need to be able to keep this part of the string out of the way and um, keep it intact. So next comes actually putting the string onto the Kumi disc itself. And this is going to depend on the number of strings that you have. The fewest number of strings that you can have is eight, right? So that's going to look like this. They're just going to be um, up in the top, bottom, left, and right. And that is um, how you're going to start it. Now, if you, the next you could do, the next number up is 12. And you can see here, that kind of spreads them out uh, a little bit differently. Um, but you still get the idea, right? It's, they're, they're spread around the disc. There's two strings that, up to the top, bottom, and then on the sides. And then the next we'll do is 16. And obviously that gets a little bit more complex. You got north, south, east, west, and then you have the, all of the spaces in between. And mind you, the Kumi disc can do more strings than that, but I mean, this is really kind of a beginner's video. So that's all we're gonna really cover here today. Okay, so now the trick is you pull the strings up through the center of the Kumi and put your bobbin down at the bottom 
that kind of as close to the, the hole there as you can. And then you're going to want to spread out your strings. Now, Mandy here is putting the strings together by color. Um, but that's not necessarily what you have to do. It'll change how you spread out the colors will change how the pattern of the kumi um, ends up. So you can really kind of go wild with this and try all kinds of different ways of putting your strings on there. So, um, yeah, I, I say really, you know, go crazy, experiment, have some fun with that. Um, you can see she's having to move some stuff around. She didn't realize that I had 12 strings and you can see that now it's um, ending up like I showed you before, like how 12 strings ends up on the disc. So that's kind of kind of important, getting it kind of spread out nice and even. And then um, this is a trick that basically we came up with. Um, if you don't do this, it'll start to come unfrayed, like when you're when you start to try to make your bracelet. But if you tie a little knot in the first two strings that are going to cross each other, just a little square knot, um, it'll keep it the kumi exactly together. It'll it'll keep it really nice and neat. Otherwise, it starts to come undone the minute you start to pull it off of the disc and, and you take the bobbins and stuff away. It'll, it'll start to unravel a bit. So now it's the bottom left goes up and the top right comes down. Okay, then it turns counterclockwise and then the bottom left comes up and the top right comes down. And this is all it is to do in Akumi is this bringing the string up and then the other one coming down. Um, and this repeats as much as you need to get it to the length that you want it. Um, mind you, Mandy tells me that on a 12 string bracelet, when the whole thing goes around and the colors end up back at the starting point of where you started, that is the perfect length for a bracelet. But I mean, that might be longer than you wanted or shorter than you wanted. You can, you can really adjust it. Um, and that's, I think, kind of comes with practice. Um, and here you can see, so bottom one up and the top one down. Bottom, bottom left is going up, top right comes down. It's, it really just repeats so many times. It, it's hard to kind of grasp how simple this is. It's just repetitive. So, um, and there is a whole art of trying to not get your strings in a bunch because you are going over and over them and the way it wraps around and stuff, you have to be cautious there. So, yeah. And then, see, it's coming to the end, back to where the colors are on the original spaces. Bottom left up, top right down. And then the last two strings are going to get tied into a knot. So there's the kumi. And it turns out pretty neat. And you can see it, she just basically spread the rainbow around it and it came out like that. So, so now she's going to take the last two strings and ties them into a knot. And again, this is just keeps it from unraveling while you're trying to get it set up for your bracelet. So really, this is all there is to it, guys. Um, this is how you make your Kumi loop for your bracelet. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a like and a, maybe leave me a comment. And um, as always, don't get your strings in a bunch.